Hey everyone, welcome back for some more Fallout New Vegas. Um, some shit happened. Uh, first thing you'll notice, Boone's armor is lighter colored. Mainly because of the, that texture, depending on the time of night, turned me transparent. So, I got rid of that. Also, um, this is actually the Steam version. It was on sale for 70% off on the last day of the summer camp sale. And, uh, which is a good thing because I was tinkering around with some mods and I, uh, well, my inexperience caught up with me. And Fallout New Vegas suffered a terminal episode. The kind of irreparable terminal episode where you have to delete all the files because you fucked up royally. So, uh... And since I lacked the physical copies to reinstall the game, I, we were almost fucked. But luckily, Steam came through with their summer sale, and... Well, we're back. I had to start from scratch. Yeah, I had to start from scratch. So I just got back here, I got everything... Everything redone. I uh, haven't done any anything extra. We're about right back to where we started. I think I might have hit like an extra, just piddly ass little place over here. Um, due to the random loot drops and the random, the random uh, stuff in the stores, uh, combat kind of went a little different. Also, I, I well, I kept the lightsabers. Because I really don't use melee weapons anyway, so I'm probably barely ever going to use the damn thing. But, uh, it's there for novelty's sake. Boone has a... I, since Boone's armor's lighter, I give him the silver one. I got the red one. Edie has all the rest. Uh, actually, no, it's not Edie. It's Bender. Bender... I got rid of the beeps. Uh, basically, it's Bender's head. Shut up. It is. It's Bender with a beret. Um, non-faction. I can still craft the non-faction armor. Uh, I'm I'm still going light armor. I did change a couple of the perks I took. I dropped the uh, instead of taking the hand loader. I instead of taking hand loader and uh, strong back. For the extra carry weight and the uh, special ammo recipes, I took two ranks in toughness since I am going to be going light armor. I need the extra the extra DT. Um, what other mods? I st I still do have a, f a couple mods. There's the craft armor, Edie's beret. Um, I dropped the weapon. Uh, I re replaced all of Edie's sounds with Bender. Uh, what else was there? There's lightsabers. Um, I pretty much got rid of. Uh, I pretty much got rid of the extra weapons. They were causing a few problems with the Steam version. I'm not really interested in trying to mod that much. I did get one mod, however, that um. Well. It's good for me when I'm wandering around the wasteland. It's a uh, Fallout New. It's uh, the New Vegas Radio Extender, or something like that. A Radio New Vegas Extender, or something of the such. Basically, it takes. Uh, well, let's turn it on for a few seconds, and hopefully we'll get something. I'm not gonna only, I'm not gonna leave it on for more than a few seconds. Otherwise, I don't feel like getting anally violated by copyright hounds. So let's see what we got on the radio. Not the most exciting song that I have in my playlist. Still a good one. I don't know if you can hear that very well. well let's make her. Ah, Blind Guardian. You don't know what band Blind Guardian is? 
fucking look it up. Okay, I need to turn that off. <laughs> I don't want to play. Too, I don't want to play music too long. That was uh, the road of no release. If anyone's wondering about their new their fuck, I can't remember what the newest album's called off the top of my head. But yeah, Blind Guardian, they kick ass. But yeah, it's basically I found a mod that uh, lets you. What the fuck? Huh. Found a mod that basically lets you, um... Extend... The playlist for... We're at New Vegas. Mr. New Vegas still comes on. It's actually a really well-made mod if you follow the all the instructions. Um... You can get up to, I think I said the maximum you can get is 32,000 songs. I only was screwing around and picked a, I think it was like 102. I just randomly picked. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really necessarily wanting to play it too much. Woo, magic fucking trick. Just because I don't feel like dealing with fucking no-life copyright dogs. Oh, you're playing music you own? In a fucking recording on YouTube? For shame, you motherfucker. For shame. We're going to give you problems because of it. But, it, eh. That's really the only real noticeable, you know, thing of note besides I can craft armor. The only thing of note is... Hey, look, I can... I gave myself something to listen to when I'm wandering the wastelands beside the whistle of the wind and the sound of fucking tumbleweeds fucking. Too bad I... It does suck. It's too bad I can't, you know, share music with you. So I got... I mean, come on. What's better than running through the wasteland, listening to some fucking... Oh, another bright follower. Yeah, what's better running through the fucking wasteland listening to the fucking five finger death punch in the middle of a firefight? <laughs> or some disturbed or slipknot or something. Or blind guardian. Or hell, you can even get some moments with some fucking evanescence up in this bitch. Yeah, so I have a couple of Evanescent songs on the fucking playlist. <laughs> get get that get that shit going in bats, and you can get some rather, I don't know, almost poetic, poetic things going on. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna. Uh, mainly the purpose of this right here, the reason I'm not really clipping it out, because half half of the shit I'm doing is well, just trying to. Bender, you're not talking. What's the matter, Bender? Fucking talking up a storm the entire this entire day. Now it's like, up oh, the recorder's on. I'm gonna magically fall silent and make you look like a dick, which probably would be something Bender would do. So 
Yeah, I guess it's in character. Anyway. Anyway, not a whole lot. Whole lot's really changed. Um, I did, however, manage to. Uh, since I'm not using that shit ass AA A12, um, I didn't just run into the fucking Legion camp where the booted quest takes place at. I didn't run in there this time. I actually, because this time when I started the game, there was a fucking chat. You know the the little bitch ass merchant in uh, Good Springs. He had a varmint rifle and a silencer. Yeah. This time I start, he has a fucking scope and silencer for me. It's like, what the fuck, man? So, and I am still, I am still an equal opportunity serial killer. I kill everybody. Of course, with Boone around. Eh. Boone's okay for now, but Boone gets mad if you kill NCR people, and, well, the name, ooh drugs and well yeah I don't I don't feel like listening to Boone bitch because I'm farming his former squad mates or however you want to put it how do you die over here anyway this part of Repcon shouldn't really take this quest is kind of straightforward I mean I'm gonna cut out the random shut up I'm talking Shut up, ghoul. Sure, to shut you up. I, I agreed to do what you asked, and you're going to bitch at me for wasting time? I wasn't wasting time. I was saying, I'll be right there, you stupid piece of shit. Sorry, bear traps. <laughs> All right, time to start cutting out pointless shit. See you in a bit. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting gooeys. Ed, your sensors are too fucking powerful. Jesus Christ, where are they? Okay, I was gonna try to get some kills in this little... Oh. Stop hiding. <laughs> anyway. Annoying ass shit. No tools. What did I break in here for? A bobby pin and some drugs and a wrench. Jesus Christ. Cheap ass bastards. You two aren't doing anything helpful. God. Uh oh. Boone's getting ready to fucking Get him, Bender. Come on, Boone. Come on, guys. Over here. Get him, Boone. I said get him, Boone. Get him, Bender. Okay, Bender got him. Boone, you're useless. Boone. So he point blank range, he shoots him in the spine with a hunting rifle. Jesus Christ. Ghoulies! You know, you guys can help sometime! Fucking idiots. Great. I have the most useless companions ever. Uh oh, go. You were right over there. You go the long way. Uh, somebody face palm for me. Hmm. We're supposed to go upstairs and meet that guy. I got a better idea. Let's go loot their basement instead. Let's go. What's down here? Hmm. We got contacts. Edie, where are they? Who 
Oh god! Get him, Boone! 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 You guys are fucking useless! Oh shit! It's the Nightkin Jailer! And he's whooping my ass! Okay, cool, I killed him. No thanks to you. Ooh, an incinerator. Where, Where does body go? I done bitch slapped them into oblivion. What the fuck? I still can't find the jailer's corpse. Good thing there's a second key in here. Huh. Fucking bastard. It's not really a whole lot in this area except an ass load of, uh assload of scrap metal and quite a few wrenches as well it's decent for scavenging parts for getting a weapon repair kit together all right let's see now who was the jailer jailing was the jailer even jailering anybody oh wait ghoul prisoner a female ghoul prisoner Damn it, get in the. You won't get in the barrel. I'm just gonna blow your head off, you dumb bimbo. Doesn't seem. Well, this wasn't very productive. Well, I seem to have killed all the super mutants. The mail board. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what's in here. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Not your mother. Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. Mm. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. I kind of killed them all. How'd you end up trapped here, you First stupid off, fuck? I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position. And I've been defending it, right? Uh-huh. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Mm -hmm. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. Now where's my and drink? After him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Things went to shit fast. Aww. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. And the story. <sighs> oh, you're done talking? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. All I heard was, I'm a wuss, I ran away from the nightkin, I suck. What folks were you escorting oh, to work? You haven't run across Bright's little cult upstairs, eh? No. Harmless bunch, really. Religion and me never really got along. I was just gonna loot all the treasure, but there's nothing but junk I hope down here. <sighs> Time for me to go. Later. So, what's all this about traps? Traps, traps, traps. Ah, traps. Ugly fucker. Traps. Disarms the bad trap. Hmm. Oops. Light's already on. Ah, uh, the bad trap of experience. Wait. How did I... I didn't... Uh, whatever. Oh, look at that. I can't do shit with those because I don't know how to... I don't use explosives. Fuck. Okay. Really? <laughs> well, there's no point in going back there because this is nothing but a bunch of traps to disarm. 
So Harlan, buddy, let's have a talk. Mono a mono, face to face. What the fuck? I didn't do anything aggressive. Well, thanks, Boone. You finally did something damn useful. There's three boxes of 24 308 rounds. Oh, you druggie. No matter what you do, if you come up here, he will attack you. You don't even have to do anything aggressive. He just, he's, he's a retarded asshole. That's really all there, all there is to it. Oh yeah, there were 12 gauge rounds back here that, uh... Anyway, yeah, Harlan's a douche. And if you choose to help the Nightkin, which you can help the Nightkin by going this way and talking with this crazy asshole, or you can shoot shoot his uh, cow skull, and he gets pissed, and then we steal a sword. Yes, Antler, you have failed Antler Davison. That cow skull was ant Antler. Bumper sword! Uh, use the hunting rifle to repair the hunting rifle. Sounds like a good idea. Anyway, let's head upstairs. Okay, we're upstairs now. Me, 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 me. You know what happened to the last guy who sassed me? That NCR trooper? God, but are you ugly. You're not Get a ghoul. Talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Oh shit. Voorhees. Smooth skin. Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Uh-huh. This guy's an idiot. Go bother Jason, smooth skin. I don't like having you around. Why don't you go bother Jason? Yeah, whatever. Dick. Test site. Hmm. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I want to test something. So, I'm going to go silently assassinate all the bright followers. I'll be right back. Okay. I've silently assassinated all of bright's followers. Now it's time to talk to the man himself. Oh, by the way, no one caught me. Teehee. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Um... What is this great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. Did not! The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete, when the demons appear. Oh, you mean those big blue fuckers I shot? Or are they purple? I don't know, I'm colorblind. Oh. 
<laughs> I already sent all your followers to the far beyond, so <laughs> to you. What about these demons? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. <gasps> Stealth boys! God, this guy's an idiot. Like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship on water. <sighs> we had just entered the basin. My flock walked Then Hargrave or Harlan ran away. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us The ones that are scattered across the wasteland. One of the demons raved at us. But they have not tried to attack us since. Still. Their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. Aww. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Which is funny how he says that because the other human is sitting right at that table. And it's like, yeah, we're, we're kind of keeping him in the dark about this. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Because he's retarded. Enough, we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. The uh, demons kind of met the business end of my shotgun. Praise the Creator! And bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement <laughs> to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Well, this is why I assassinated everybody. All the bright followers. Because normally they all migrate. They'll all migrate down to the uh, basement now. I want to see if it respawns them because they're all dead so there's nobody to migrate down to the basement except for the two main people which means there shouldn't also there shouldn't be anybody on the uh, there shouldn't be anybody on the launch pad so let's head down to the basement and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into down there alright we're in the tunnels past Davidson even farther below the Rupcon I haven't seen anybody yet. Oh God! I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Oh, damn! I knew what I should. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Eh, too late now. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no blah, way that we can bleh, bleh, dark side. Your arrival here is a blessing. We will remember you always. Yeah, and you're going to remember me always. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, Fucking I suppose idiot. you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us... Fuck, I didn't know you were going to talk for an hour. But this only angered hmm. him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days. Over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his ability <clears throat> and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence. Fuck just getting a cup or a glass of iced tea. Just grab the whole the goddamn journey. jug. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris. I am holier than thou because I have a gaping, glowing wound in the top of my head. All right, get just get the fuck out of here. Shut up. Go. Leave. Bye bye. Have a nice day. F five. Can I pull this off? And fuck, you vanished. Oh, you were looking at me anyway, dick. No, I, I had a thought. I was thinking about... Anyway, are there... Yes! Notice how Jason's the only person down there. 
So, my plan was a success. I was just thinking, if only I had C4 and a detonator, I could reverse pickpocket the C4 onto him. Shit. And then blow him up when he's down there on the launch pad. Something, 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 dark side. What do you do? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. <laughs> of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Uh, why don't they let you work on the launch pad, stupid? When I joined the Flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. <sighs> the radiation would kill you, dipshit, because you're a human. I thought we were past all that, smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But mm. oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Mm. Not so nice then. What? Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversom won't mind when his hair starts falling out Boy. after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. How can I help? I to keep you from shutting up. Or just rockets, make you shut up. We Aside from a bolt in the floor. face. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent it's is highly, highly radioactive. radioactive. Case quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Well, we already had the igniting Very agent. well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. You need about you need five rocket souvenirs, which we got. Yes, that's isotope two thirty nine, all right. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. Yay! Now all I need is the thrust control modules. All right. Late. They're at old lady Gibson's. I so want to shoot him right now. Anyway, off we go to old lady Gibson's. By the way, quick escape ladder. To the surface. All right. See you at the old crone. Uh. Hmm. Now, if you're wondering what happened to her dogs, I got hungry. So you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Do you have any thrust control modules? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. Five hundred caps worth of expensive. But you're gonna cut the price to two fifty because I'm just that charming, right? And I totally did not dismember and eat your dogs. What the hell? Two fifty it is. You always deny eating the dogs. Pleasure doing business with you. And I am by no means keeping your dog Ray's brain as a trophy. Hey, Dingle yeah. Diff, I got your I fucking thrust mods. Are these what you look for? Herp. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. <sighs> Let's yeah. launch this bitch. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Yes. We have everything we need. <laughs> Can you are fucked. You are fucked. 
Oh yeah. Spacesuit. seen a feral ghoul down there before. Well, I didn't fail the quest. Ah ha ha! Uh... Yeah. Why? I was gonna shoot him in the back of the head anyway. <laughs> Time to launch the rockets. Hmm... We could set the rockets to crash. But we're going to help Jason out. We're going to make him get to his destination faster. Why? Very simple reason. I killed all his followers. I killed Chris. He and apparently Ball Sniffer the Feral Ghoul <laughs> are the only two left. So what's... What more of a dickhead move to kill him or to launch him into space by himself with only a ball sniffing son of a bitch as a companion I mean seriously <laughs> what is a more dick move ooh level up level 15 yeah I kinda did my the skills are basically still the same, I just focused more on other stuff. Uh, let's see... Actually, let's not focus on science. Let's focus on speech! Anyway, see you back when we talk to Manny. Hey, it's Count Blackula! Picking his nose! My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Really? Uh, I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs or basketball. Right? Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. <sighs> Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. What do you sell? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs. Stole them, well, well, stole five already. What about supplies and guns? Or do you just guns? suck? I, uh, well... You suck. Yeah, I guess I might have a few. No, you suck. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rex. Because they're useless in a post-apocalyptic environment, you stupid sure fuck. Have a look. By the way, I found a frickin' hunting revolver in a room on the way out of a Repcon. I'll take that. Laser sight? Long barrel. Ooh! 556 surplus ammo is actually pretty decent. At least I think it's pretty decent. I'll buy these, I'll buy... 
Well, I'll take these for free. Uh, primer box. Yeah, this guy, this guy is pretty, pretty damn useless. Yeah, I found this Hutton revolver. And all the laser stuff I got. Oh crap. Uh, do you have any decent ammo at all, you retarded fucker? Oh, wait, I'll take these. I'll take these. Huh. Hmm. guy you're lucky you're a shop owner and you have a name hey Manny you have any luck with the ghouls I'm counting on you the ghouls are no longer at Repcon they're either dead or in space really unbelievable man I knew that wasn't gonna be easy actually it was really I simple a feeling about you Look like you've been through a lot. <laughs> now about that dickhead I'm ser searching for. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, Benny. traveling with some members from my old we'll gang. Die. We're going to Boulder City. Okay, cool. Where's Boulder City? Straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I need to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. We're idolized. Yay. We're idolized. I wonder what idolized means for us. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you. So take this key and make yourself a Says something, but he says everything. You'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. We have a free room now. Come Shut up. Okay, maybe I won't kill you. Oh. This guy... He... He sassed me. He like, just walked in front of me and sat down and blocked my path. Fucking asshole. Anyway. When we come back... We'll continue on... With more Fallout. New Vegas. See you later.